so here's the question. If forgiveness requires repentance, how do we reconcile that with the Reformed view that God uh, chose us before re we repented? Okay? A uh, first observation, that isn't the Reformed view. That is the Christian view. We were chosen before the foundation of the world. All theological points of view acknowledge that. The difference between a Reformed or Calvinistic view and the Arminian view is the grounds of that choice. Um, that's where the difference is, but both sides uh, agree that the choice came before the repentance, okay? Um, here's another clarification, and this is where you're gonna get some difference of opinion. Uh, the word repentance means to change one's mind, metanoia, to have a change of mind. Now, the problem, I think, for a lot of Christians is that the word repentance has come to mean simply turning from sin, when in fact that's not the biblical definition. Sometimes the change or the turning is regarding sin. Sometimes it's a change regarding God. So it might be repentance from sin or repentance towards God. Not that they're they, they, they're disconnected from each other, but, I, but they are separate things. The word repentance itself means a change, a change of mind. Do we need a change of mind to become followers of Christ? Absolutely. Do we need to turn from all of our sins before we trust Christ? In my view, no. In fact, you aren't able to turn from all of your sins without the power of the Holy Spirit. God first catches his fish, then he cleans them, on my own view. So the Spirit enables us to trust and turn from a life contrary to God to a new life following Christ, and that spiritual regeneration then has ramifications for the way that we live. And so the repentance, the turning, is critical. Our act of putting our trust in Christ is evidence of that repentance that is required for salvation. And then there is an additional repentance that is part of the process of growing as a Christian. And that is turning from an old way of life, as Paul puts it in Romans 8, putting to death the deeds of the flesh by the power of the Spirit. That's an ongoing process. So it, there is no contradiction, in my view, with either theological point of view that we are chosen before the repentance. On one view, it is that God chose us in a sovereign way, a unilateral way, that the repentance that comes in the future, the change of mind and the transformation, the durability, uh, is possible. That is grounded in God's choice. In the more Arminian way, the choice is an act of prescience or seeing into the future what we would choose to do, but it turns out to be the same kind of act, a turning away from our old way of life to Christ, and then in the process of doing that, being regenerated, and our lives are transformed. No contradiction from either perspective. <music>